Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to some Arc Extinction. We found a element vein, finally. It's a low level one, which is what I want to start off with because we are taking just the one Volanosaur in. I have a, my other one on me as backup, but that's it, man. That's a level, that's a level one. It's a 10,000 hit points. I think they go 10,000, 25,000, and 50,000. So it's kind of like the blue drop pod. So it'll be a good place to start to getting some element so we can start on our tech base. So let's get up here to it. It should start. It's a wave defense just like the drop pods. Hopefully we'll be able to do it on just the one Velanosaur. Cause he is kind of high level for the low level for the, you know, starting stuff. These are the things we have to protect. So let's get up here get this thing started. There it is. So if we hit those, it does damage them. And if the dinos hit them that come in, the corrupted, it does damage them. Main thing we got to protect is this. It's kind of like the drop pod. We don't want it to get hit at all. And then once it's all done, we get to harvest these. Let's go ahead and take these guys out because I don't want them hitting. Oh, I don't want them hitting the stuff if the, the corrupted aggro them. Okay, there we go. So luckily, we're at a pretty good spot here because stuff's only going to come from that direction and down there. Hopefully. Besides pterodons. Oh, I hear some of the little guys coming in. I can't remember how much element we get from this, but you get, I believe it's sheets and shards i can't remember if you get dust from this or not we don't really need any more dust but we can break stuff down or upgrade it we really really should be using enforcers but man we got to get the got to get our tech replicator built first and there's the first level done it's kind of weird how it starts off on wave zero and not on wave one you know Oh, really? Oh, man, it's going to be nice trying to get our tech base set up. I think we're going to go vertical with it. Not too much on the bottom, but have it go high. Less of a footprint, you know? Dude, where's everybody at, man? Here comes in a pterodon. Never stood a chance. Ah, here they come. They're coming from way out there, man. Holy crap. Here comes some stegos. There we go. I was hoping a little bit more would come in. Let's go ahead and put him down there in case we need to throw him out. I don't think we will. But you never know. So the thing is, those guys are going to go directly for that element if they get close enough. Awesome. Nice, nice. Good stuff, good stuff. Let's keep it nice and simple. I did bring my bird with me too. I have it in a cryopod. Dude, those so nice having those cryopods. Oh, you can see him over here tearing one up. Dude, get off of it. Oh, man, there's a couple over here. Oh, don't hit it, man. Oh, there's a Stego over here. Oh, my, I can't hit it. Yeah. Alright, what else we got? Oh, there's another one. Is that it? Looks like it. That's the thing too, man, is they get stuck on these element veins. It's one of the, kind of the bad things about doing them by yourself is if things get close and they get caught up under there, you might not be able to see them the whole time. They're going to be sitting there tearing your stuff up, you know?
So what wave are we on now? Two, I think, right? Yeah, three, but technically on la la wave two. So I didn't realize there is a place back here. That's where the other ones came up from. Yeah, right down in there. Sneaking up. It's alright, we'll just keep an eye on it. What, just a wave of the pterodons? So we got some ankle biters coming from that way, and some from that way. I'm guessing some will be coming up the backside too. Have to keep an eye back there. Let's take out these first though, since they're already right up here. Oh man, he was like almost out of range. Is that it? Got that Thyla creeping in, man. Oh, is he coming? Nah, he's going that way. I checked his backside, see if anybody snuck up on us. Yep, 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 yep. I figured it, man. Oh, there's a couple of the Stego over there, too. See, I should have brought my spike walls, man. I saw this thing when I was coming back from taming that T-Rex, and I figured I'd jump over here real quick because I don't always see the low, low-level ones. So I didn't, I didn't grab anything, really. Dude, that's a mag. That's a high level Thyla too. 135. Woo! I have to not try to kill him and maybe come back for him. It's one of my favorite mounts, is the Thylas. Especially around here with all the rock, dude. They can climb those things so easy. Makes getting around pretty nice. It's like an upgraded version of a saber. So we got some trikes over here. Don't think they're part of it. Do got a couple birds coming in. Was trying to come in, that is. <laughs> Dude isn't never set a chance, man. See, when you get to higher level ones, man, it does the same thing with having spinos and stuff come in and do they tear stuff up so bad. Of course, the footprint of all the element veins, it is bigger, so there's more of them there. But at the same time, it's more for them to tear up. Alright, I think there was another one that was creeping up over here. Where'd you go, man? Sneaky little dillos. Oh, dude, there's a whole pack of them. <laughs> Surprised we haven't seen any raptors, really. I hear you guys up here tearing stuff up, man. There we go. Nice, we're looking pretty good, man. I haven't seen any of the element veins get tore up yet. They hit these enough, they all do have hit points. See, like that one's taking a little bit of damage. But they will destroy them. Let's get rid of this Rex over here too. We do not need him coming over. Oh, leave that, leave that thyla alone, man. There we go. I saved you, buddy. I'm gonna come tame you later. 
Maybe. Possibly. Might forget, but it's alright. <laughs>very nice very nice i like it what wave are we on this one and one more not doing too bad man should be able to get a lot of element out of this catch him on the approach where you going boy nowhere Get that last one that we needed to head up there and check that backside. See if they're trying to sneak up the side. Dude, get off my element! And that would look pretty good up here. Oh, nope. Nope, nope, nope. Figured. I knew one was going to be up here. That might be it for this wave. Nope, nope, nope. Little more dillos. Two decide like they keep going back to the same spot over and over. Which I mean that's fine. You know where to look. They've almost tore that one up. Alright, there we go. This is the final wave. It keeps leaving one behind somewhere. I gotta keep waiting for it to complete itself. Kinda sucks, but is what it is, man. Go ahead, take this last wave out and get our elements. Should be quite a few things coming in on this one. Yep, yep, yep. A lot of birds on this one. Alright, what else we got, man? The usual spot for the Dillos and Raptors. Making it easy for me, man. Dude, is that a Carno? Oh, it's a Raptor. Oh, dude, there's a bunch of them! Come on, man! I'm tearing my stuff up like that. Come on, dude! It's not cool, man. Very nice, very nice. Looks like that might be it. Nope, I hear something hitting over here. Awesome! Element vein has been protected. So see how it changes color too? So let me show you some stuff, man. So first of all, let's throw our bird out. And we will not crawl pot him because stuff still comes in sometimes. So throw him out. The main one, you do not want to destroy that to the end because it will get rid of everything around it if you if you take that one out first. Go ahead and use your pickaxe and oh man, look at all that element. There's some sheets, a bunch of dust. Uh, you did get dust, I couldn't remember. And then shards. So the good thing is we can we can take all that into the city terminal and make full sheets out of it. Hopefully we get quite a bit. At least enough to start on our, our base. Let's go ahead and empty what we got out into the bird. So 
one of the things that kind of sucks is you do get them kind of stuck in the terrain here. This one we can at least get to. Sometimes, man, you can't get to it and you kind of, kind of like that one over there, you lose out on it. That is what it is. It's not too bad. We might be able to... Oh, we can get, get rid of that rock. Nice. Sneaking down in here and hiding, man. All right, so that should be the last one. All we got left now is a big one. That one always gives you more. I mean, the way it should. It's got higher health. Let's go ahead and dump what we got off now. Not too bad, man. Every thousand of these is a sheet, too, so... Got almost 50 sheets there. Let's see what we can get out of this one. Not too bad. Hopefully we get some more sheets in that. Yeah, look how much health is on this thing, man. Gonna get a lot of element. Dude, it's gonna be so nice being able to start our base. I mean, this is this is so much easier to get element here versus like on Crystal Isles doing the bosses. All the time you gotta spend raising uh, all your your dinos and everything. And that is it. Dude, that was so loud. Holy crap. It's like a thunderstorm. See, that's why you always have your teams around, even though he's not doing nothing. Dude, would you please take care of him? I think that's the one I was going to try to keep, isn't it? Yeah. Not going to be able to tame him. Oh, that sucks, man. Uh, let's take a look and see what we got. So we ended up with 106 on the sheets, and then... 13 more for dust. And then quite a few of these. I can't remember how many element shards make a sheet once you do the breakdown and stuff. But man, that's that's awesome there. It's like almost 120 sheets out of... And that's the lowest level one that you can do there. Like I said, there's other two more tiers. So not a bad day, man. Let's go ahead and put our... Velanosaur in the cryopod. I don't think I need to keep any of that. Yeah. Dude, there's another drop too, man. Those drops are coming down like crazy. Can't wait to get the Rex leveled up so that we can do a couple more of those. But I'm going to head back to base and start getting stuff ready. And maybe in the next video or the one after, we'll start building our tech base, man. At least get the foundations laid out and a replicator made. Hope you enjoyed the video. Going to go ahead and leave this one here. As always, thanks for watching. And we'll see you in the next one.